so so Gregory, I'm here because I, I need some stories, man. Come on now. For, first of all, do you know the first story I want? The story that where, where when you was driving for Godfather Cabs. Yeah. Tell, tell me, tell me that story. It's very interesting because all he had was Cadillacs, mm. nice cars and stuff mm. like that. You know, and we had to pay him a hundred dollars a night. This is a private cab company. Yeah. In New York, okay. Yeah. Something about. In the Bronx, okay. Where we used to live in Patterson, right up the street on the right hand by Clark. Oh, yeah. Junior High School. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot. Mm. And we had to pay him $100 a night. Well, wait, wait, wait. Was that before they built Lincoln Hospital or what? When? Um, during the time Lincoln Hospital, yeah. Maybe a little bit before. Because Lincoln Hospital takes up that whole thing now, doesn't it? No, no, no. I'm talking about Clark Junior High School. Remember Clark? Oh, yeah, my, school, my junior high school. My Eli high school. Uh, Elijah yeah. D. Clark, 149. Yeah. Oh, the other side. You talk about, I tell you, what, Morris Avenue. You, you, talk about, uh, you talk about 3rd Avenue, Wills Avenue, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Went down and yeah. was a little. But I had here, they changed, they, they changed it now. It's not no longer Clark. It's some other strange yeah, thing, strange whatever. Strange thing, yeah. Oh, man, some number. I don't even know some numbers. Yeah. Okay, so what, so what happened? So it was the, that was the Godfather Cab Company. He had nothing but Cadillacs. Okay. So he had to pay $100 a night. Mm -hmm. Just to rent those cars. Mm. But you know, you had to be out there thumping. Mm. And we had limits where we couldn't, let the cabs do today, they can go, well, they can't even go below 96. You know, ghetto cabs, they call them, you know. Yeah, gypsy cabs. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I had to sneak around downtown sometimes and get the money together and stuff. And one day I'm driving the car, and I look over to my right, and there's Garfield Cambridge. Okay. In the car, he says, "I used to do that." <laughs> Did he? <laughs> He's just man. man wow. I was so honored, man. God forgive watermelon man. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, he said, "I used to do that." I said, "Oh man, all right." Mm. Then one time I'm driving, and I'm coming by the state building, making a left going uptown. I had just let off of here on 121st Street, and I made the left turn going uptown, and the door swung open. Boom, the guy wanted a cab. He said, how'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, man, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Because <laughs> the guy didn't secure the door properly. Uh -oh. You know, so it just swung right open. Boom, he jumps in. He said, all right. Mm -hmm. But I went all over the place. You know, nothing really long, like Atlantic City or something like that. But it was tough making that money. You know, you had to be on your pre's and you know. But yeah. you've been you've been driving all your life. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what age did you start driving? Um, it was a job corps that really helped me out. Yeah, but before job corps, remember I, I used to work. Um, uh, well, I used to do you know just driving and stuff. And but what, yeah. how old were you? Because you're a New Yorker. That this to me, the New Yorkers drive late. I mean, what, 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 how old were you when you? I was first pretty young because I, I worked on Jerome Avenue with all those car dealers mm. up there. You know. And now they're in Teterboro. Mm. Teterboro, New Jersey. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still trying to, what year was it? Let me put it that way. It's in, maybe in the 60s or something like that. Okay, so you still, you, that, that means you probably started when you was 18, 19. Yeah. That's what I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to get the, the, the frame. Uh -huh. That's kind of interesting because I, because I, as again, as a New York, it's kind of strange to get your license that age. Usually people wait till like they're 40 because we have such a great, you know, like a transportation system. Yeah. But I got my license when I was 18 also yeah. by a freak accident. It's not a freak accident. It's just that I, I'd be going with a girl who had a car. That's that's how it happened. I remember you drove up with that convertible, man. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, 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 so but, but, but keep on, what other adventures you have in this uh, Godfather's uh, cab company? It was, it was very tough, man, you know. And then, you know, how I lost my license, you know, is I was picking up people, and one time this girl got in the car on 110th Street, told me make a turn here. I made a turn to these cops right there. So I went to court, and they took my license because i um, driving with, you know, and I, I asked the godfather, you know, for a piece of paper to help me out, you know, so that I, I could keep my license. He wouldn't do it, you know. Well, well, who is this guy? You said the godfather. Who is he? I don't know. I don't remember his name, but he, you know, he, Mr. T, they call him. Mm. They call him Mr. T. But I mean, what, what was, what was his uh, ethnicity? You know, where did he come from? 
Uh, uh, North Carolina somewhere. Mm. He, was, he was black, but yeah, Italian or what? Black. Yeah. Black guy. Okay, okay. But I think he was backed by somebody else. Of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Especially in the sixties. No, okay. So, well, but but you have one thing. Who's who's that cat that used to take out comic books or try to take out comic books when he was a kid? What's that? What's that cat's name? Guy Fisher. Guy Fisher. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, you know, here's the thing, man. Here's the funny thing. Yeah. Both you and my fraternity brother, you'll have memories that go all the way back. Yeah. I have a selective memory. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember nobody. Even this day, I don't. Even people I just meet yesterday, I don't. If I don't have to know them, I don't know them. As simple as that. But but what happened with Guy Fisher? This is what what's, tell, 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 yeah, me, tell me tell me tell me because I don't even remember the comic book thing. Cause we used to buy comic books all the time. Yeah, we yeah. bought them down on Willis Avenue, mm -hmm. like this old man's store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, you know, it was just a little dispute about you know comic book. You know, it was nothing big time. Mm -hmm. You know, to this day, you know, guys having problems. You know, he's in jail for life, man. You know, because mm -hmm. you know, he was down with you know the wrong kind of people. I'm not gonna mention no names and stuff. But he was down with the wrong kind of people. He was hanging out with the syndicate people, man. No, well, well Nicky Barnes. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, I'm, I'm just, we say the wrong kind of people. You act like he's, no, this is this is big time wrong kind of people. Yeah. Right. It's not just the wrong kind of people, it's big time. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so what happened with God? But he said he saved you one time. I saved you, but you know. Yeah. He, what, what I was on 120th, 23rd Street driving. And I had some real knuckleheads in the back seat of the cab. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, it's between Seventh and Lennox. And I'm getting ready to drop them off. That block was famous for for dust, angel dust, and every kind of other kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to drop them off to get my money. You know, who's in behind me in a Corvette? This guy Fisher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, "Come on, Greg, what's going on here?" They looked at guy. It's here, brother. Here's your money. <laughs> hey, here you go. Here you go. It, 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 uh, growing up in the Patterson yeah. Projects has some has some sort of perks, I guess. Yeah, you know who you did. know. You know. Yeah. Mm. Everybody knew us and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know. And we had an interesting situation because we were the only people in the neighborhood that really didn't get nicknames. You know what yeah. I mean? People always call you Gregory. People always call me Anthony. Yeah. Um, um, well, said I had a nickname from birth, so that was yeah. sort of sort of different. Uh -huh. But I mean, you know, uh, uh, well, Lawrence was with us. He was always nobody gave us nicknames. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. I remember one time um, the cat Dixon I was walking down Third from 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 what they call the hub now, but down Third Avenue where, where the L used to run, right yeah. past that Job Corps uh, 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 storefront, mm -hmm. and I was walking. And so he said, he, he was walking, he was walking to, you know, he's coming from the past and walking uptown. And he said to me, he was just past, he said, hey, Anthony. And then the second letter, he said, hey, Gregory. Because you, no, he, no, he said, hey, Anthony. No, but he, no, 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 he said, no, he said, hey, Sloan. And then he kept on going, then he said, G Sloan. And you was walking in back of me, shadowing me, you know, because yeah. we always do that, that kind of stuff. So it was kind of funny, you know, <laughs> to, to hear that. So, so this this whole uh, uh, taxi thing. So that ended when when they took your license. You had yeah. to, you, you, the, the guy you the guy father gave up on you. Yeah. You must have been doing something that he didn't like you no more. No, oh, I was doing a lot. I was making money. Always kept his cars clean, you know. But I just didn't have you know the backing, man. I mean, you know, I, you know, I was a New Yorker, right? Man, people have a thing against New Yorkers. You know, you can see. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of interesting now. Because I was talking to some people today. Mm -hmm. See, back in the day, especially they came up from the South, they had manners. You know what I mean? They they they, they had a Southern kind of thing. Yeah. This day in New York, nobody. If that whole thing is gone, mm -hmm. all these people come from all over. They get rude. They they look down on New Yorkers. They look. Yeah. It's, that's what you, that's what you're getting at. It's kind of weird. Yeah. But what did you? Was there a transition when you saw that happening? When, when did that happen? Man? It was happening slowly, mm -hmm. you know. From uh, when? From when to when? 70s? Yes, 60s to 70s. You know. You know, they, they think they could push them. I remember I used to go with a girl named Linda Battle. That was the one by, by the church, St. Rita's Hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that product, that building. Yeah. That, that big building they built up that time? That, 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 no, no, it's by 18 Park. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, St. Rita's, our church. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I remember one time, man, we were down in this basement, you know, just partying and stuff like that, having a good time, you know, just dancing. I'm trying to teach the two Italian girls how to dance, you know. What did I do that for? Yeah. yeah. You know, I was nothing close in person. Just teaching a few steps, you know. So that night we went out and we were sitting on the bench. 
And all of a sudden, you see these fire bottles coming off the roof. Mm. They didn't like that. They didn't appreciate that. Miles of Pasta. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but um, you know, that's still in Patterson Projects there. That's, yeah, it? but she's it's the Italian side, too. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Between, the, between the Murrows and the Patterson, with that, 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 that like four block area was, was yeah. Italians. Okay, I got yeah. you, I got you. But you know you know better than be hanging out with some Italian girl, teaching them, teaching them dancing or nothing. Look at them dancing now. <laughs> Look at them dancing now, man. Yeah. But, but that's the other thing. You, 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 you. It's interesting. Our whole family. I don't know about said it so much, but we, you know, we dancers, man. Yeah. I still, I get my shelter, get my shelter sweatshirt, man. Yeah. You know, clubs and stuff yeah. we used to go to, man. Yeah, yeah. But, I, t I tell people that story all the time. Mm -hmm. The time when we were that I was in the Air Force. Yeah. And I, I had this is nineteen. I can tell you, this was nineteen seventy three. Okay. And I had a choice between going to um, actually going to Egypt or staying in the states. And I just made a conscious decision. I said, I think in my back, I said, if I ever left the states, because I never when I was in the service, I never left. Yeah. I, mean, I was stationed at McGuire well, at the, I at the end. That. I had to come down here all yeah. the time. So the yeah. thing is, but the the weird thing is, is that. Uh, I, I just made a conscious. I said, "Look, I'll go to California instead." Because at that time in the Air Force, you just get on any any plane, and wherever the plane is going, boom, like that. So I was in San Francisco. I was in I was in Richmond, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, across the bridge, across the uh, San Francisco thing, with that, that, that area. Yeah, I know. And, uh, Oakland, yeah, Oakland, yeah. Well, this was Richmond, right, right there. And um, so I was saying the people I was with, you know. I said, I said, well, you know, I heard that my brother was here someplace. I don't know how I heard it. I heard my brother was here someplace. And they said, what do you mean? They said, I think he's in San Francisco or something like and, and I said, I want to try to find him. They said, how are you going to find your brother in San I said, listen, here's what you do. Let's go to the best dance club you got. And we, as soon as we walked in that club, you were on the floor dancing, of course, dancing with yourself. They, I remember you even you did a move, they were shocked because you like ran up on a, on like a pole, like that, the, yeah. the pole, it flip, it yeah. came back down, you know what I mean? That's what, it, and they were shocked. They said, how could you find your brother? You know, but that's, that's what happened, you know? Yeah, I've been a lot of places, I mean, I have no regrets, you know? And our cousin is Clarence Williams III, Link from Mom Squad. You're kidding me. No, man. What do you mean, cousin? How's, how's, how's that? Because I love Link, you know, yeah. like, you know. He's a Williams, I saw him. When I used to stand out in front of Cafe Daisy Gays Artis on 67th Street between Park and Amsterdam and get people cabs. Mm. You know, of course the building people they're like doing that. But I always was clean with shirt and ties up. Mm. One time he comes popping out the restaurant. He says to me, Hey, you know, I hope Venus and her sister are our cousins too. <laughs> he already knew, you know, because he's from the Patterson. I didn't know that Clarence Williams was from Patterson. Yeah, Clarence is from Patterson, man. Get out of here. So is Nate Tiny Archibald. Oh yeah, no Nate. Yeah, because he went to he went to, he went to Clark. You know, he was a basketball. Clinton too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a lot of them is from there, man. But how can I not know that? That's weird because he's one of my favorite. He's always been one of my favorite actors because because he he made his fame from doing doing a a, a play called Slow Dance on the Killing Ground. Okay. And he killed that. That's that. That. They also that guy Ron Glass. That's how he made his bones. He did that. That's a play. In fact, I did a scene from that play when I was in graduate school. You know, for 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 playwright for playwright. But you had to take acting classes. And yeah. I did a scene from that from that play. Ron Glass used to play um, um that Barney the the the, the, the Barney detective Miller, Barney Miller. Miller. Yeah. Yep. Oh man, but uh, but he's but no, he was married to Gloria Foster, who was one of the the best actors in the world. I seen Gloria Foster do uh, do um, one of those Greek plays in Greek. Wow! At, at the at Lincoln Center, one of something out there. Mm -hmm. But he was married to her, and she but she passed, man. Um, but uh, but he's still around, man. I, I I like to go check him out. And say, yo, hey. <laughs> yeah, we cousin, man. You know we are because. But how how is it linked? It's linked to Alice and and, and somebody in the, the Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's just put it that way. Mm. You know. And I was wondering about uh, well, Lawrence used to be a state trooper. Mm -hmm. He passed on. You know. I don't think that he was in the shootout, but I don't know. He had a brother, Daryl, mm -hmm. right? 
And I wonder how Daryl's doing. I haven't heard from him. Mm. And Alice, you know, she's probably. Oh, and Susie. Yeah, Susie. Susie used to work at, at, at um, Harlem Hospital. Mm. They used to run into her all the time, and I don't know how she's doing. It's probably, you probably can find her really easy. Well, Masetta might know, but you probably find her really easy. She used to work in the hospital. Yeah. You know. And that's the name I get when I go to the hospital. Mm. Susie Wick. I don't, she probably changed the name, but, mm. but she lives there. Right across from Lincoln Hospital. You used to live right across from Lincoln. Those new buildings over there? Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's the new Lincoln Hospital. Yeah. You know the old Lincoln Hospital. Oh, it was terrible, man. It was terrible. I like the old Lincoln Hospital. Hey, look! They st- look, look what they did. They stitched my hand up. Remember oh, when you yeah. did? I know you used to. You have you have bad memories of that. Yeah. You you was hurt more than I was hurt. Yeah, you were right about that. You no, know, because we got, remember we had a, was that a Christmas so, present? A sword. But yeah. was but, but we had it was a, they only had one sword and had the scarab, right? Yeah. And I think that I had the scarab or something like that. I had the scarab. You had the sword. Yeah. Of course, being the older brother, you're going to take the the the, the, the yep. thing that's you know. So, but but have some freak thing. Did your tip? hit the tip of my scarab and it pushed the thing in and cut, cut my thing. Boys, I was screaming. And, but here's the thing, back back in them days, the cops took me to Lincoln Hospital. Wow. And it's the, But this scar is still here. Yeah. I always remember that scar. So you, so you always with me, man. Don't feel bad. This is a good thing. This is this is this is my my scarification. You know, in Africa we have scarification. This is the best way to do it. There's no there's no such thing as tattoos. Yeah. Are you still feeling bad, poor yeah. poor baby? Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, nothing. Yeah. I, had, I was I was good. The cops were good. They, and you know, they were good. That's when the cops were good. Yeah. They, they were really neighborhood people. You know. So anyway, look, um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. We can talk some more. But I like I like like to get your stories. Cause like I said, you have a better memory. Then, uh, <laughs> and that's amazing, nice, man, for this age that I am. A lot of people forget things, mm. you know, and that, that shows you they have a form of uh, dementia. Yeah, dementia, yeah. Yeah. I might be getting that myself, man. I don't no. remember some stuff. You sure. Know, just the foods that you eat. You know, I've been eating kind of wrong. You see, the stomach I got. I was had a whole bag of bagels. Mm-hmm. I was giving out to calm the skies, you know. You know, well, yeah, well, you know what that, you, well, you, you know that, but you have another problem because you got to do that inhaler thing. Yeah. That inhaler thing is steroids. Steroids put weight on you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know. And now you're addicted to that, so you, there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah. But you're right. Stay away from the, you, you got to stay away from breads. Start with breads. Breads just and cut, meats. Just cut it down. Yeah. All the both of them, just cut it down. You don't have to take it off completely, just cut it down. Anyway, so look, man, this is your, this is your beat. <laughs> um, I can't Pretty soon they're going to chase me out. You know, sometimes, they, they, you know, I got an unlimited car. If, you know, I, but it's Kenny's a long ride now. So I got a friend down here. He's a muscle builder. Mm. Him and his, you know, his girlfriend there. The bodybuilders, yeah. Yeah, well, he, he's a bodybuilder. And he always looks out for me. Sometimes he brings his food. Sometimes I have food, I give it to him. Mm. He said, well, he, it's how he got. He knows the area. Mm. Pleasant Avenue. <laughs> that yeah. kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So he gave me a tip. He said, when they get out of here, go to Terminal D and go to sleep. Don't worry about it. <laughs> They're up in there, you know. So they go up in there. They're probably downstairs in the food court now. Uh-huh. Right, 12 o'clock. Everybody out is going. Tickets or no. Sometimes we sneak back in, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, well, I got to go to Terminal D in, in, in a while, too. Some people Yeah, don't. you found out it's... Yeah, it's yeah, Terminal D Delta, Delta or something like that. Yeah. Okay, man. I'll check you. I'll check you. I mean, we'll talk again on yeah. camera. All right? It's so good to see you.